Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on CSS Grid. Today we are going to actually build our vertical, horizontal, square boxes and I'm going to add like fillers as well. So what we really want is first of all to remove that div restriction. I'm going to remove orders because we want them in the order of um, definition in the HTML. So if I just save this, you're going to see not really interesting here, nothing to see. But if we are going to go for our horizontal um, divs, we want it to span three uh, columns and we want it to span two rows. And we are going to also give it a padding top of calc and this is one of the trick if you want to keep aspect, aspect ratio uh, so it's going to be 100 percent divided in this case by three multiply by two and you see that we do have our horizontal um, elements here uh, it's not looking great at the moment because we actually need to get all of those here. So this one is going to span two columns, three rows. This is going to be divided by two, multiplied by three. There we go. So we now have a vertical um, elements. And in this case, this one is going to span two and span two. And this one is going to have a padding top of 100% because it is has padded as its width. And you can see here, we actually have all of our elements taking all of the space that we would like to. Um, but there is a lot of empty spaces. And this is why I am going to add fillers div.fill and we're going to just like create a few of those here and we are going to create them as the square here and call them fill in this case they are going to be um, background color of uh, let's go with the yellow green, span one, span one, and there we go. So you see that we have now all of our elements. It looks a little bit like a gallery, but there are still those empty spaces that makes really little sense. And I'm going to explain why those happened in the next video. This is going to be on how to use grid auto flow and how to densely pack things up. I hope to see you there. Cheers.